A company from Bangladesh is setting up shop in the Motor City. The plan was to open up a clothing factory, but because of the pandemic, their focus has shifted. 7 Action News reporter Simon Chowdhury with that story for us tonight. Personal protection equipment like masks are in high demand, and an international company sees that, which is why they're building a factory in Detroit, and they say there's a reason why they picked this city. We felt that it's a suitable place. We are getting a lot of support. Bangladesh Export-Import Company, known as Beximco, is a large textile and pharmaceutical business. They make clothes for many well-known brands and designers. In the past couple of years, they've been working with a Chicago-based company in hopes of making clothes in the U.S. with a factory in Detroit. I think there is a real opportunity to make clothes in America again. But because of the pandemic, Beximco CEO Syed Navid Hussein tells us they've changed plans. The fashion industry came down. All the retail shops started to close worldwide. So we decided to leverage our textiles. Instead of clothes, they're making protective hospital gear like face masks. The company is making a $20 million investment in Detroit. Beximco is looking at several locations to build a factory with a goal to be up and running in less than a year. So why did they pick the Motor City? While the CEO says Detroit is affordable, diverse, and local officials are supportive, Mayor Mike Duggan says Detroiters are hardworking and willing to learn new skills. We're ready to go to work, uh, and I think this is the right place. If you're going to make things, Detroit is where you ought to come. The first phase of the factory will create about 50 jobs. Beximco is hoping to grow from there. The CEO says they are loyal to their staff in Bangladesh and committed to protecting the environment. Not just look at profit, but look at profit, people, planet, and do things right. We want to come to Detroit with that value system. And get this, company officials say they plan on selling their equipment locally first before shipping it out to other areas. In Detroit, I'm Simon Chowdhury for 7 Action News. All right, thank you so much.